where we're grateful for the opportunity to reflect upon these questions and to share our answers with our brothers and sisters and our Canadian Baptists and ourselves in our congregation. Uh, for it's important for us to remind ourselves of what we do. And there's been some surprises along the way when we saw the length of the answers. So question one. Volunteers who lead the provision of safe and affordable housing for seniors and physically disabled folk at North Park Manor and Fiskar House come from our congregation. We host picnics and board games, times, bake sales, teas and lunches, community hymn sings and various musical concerts to welcome members of our community and to furnish evangelistic contacts. We've done the Alpha course repeatedly. We have started a vacation Bible school and a Christmas breakfast with an angel program for community children. And like Port Alberni, that's the first day of BBS in many years. Our BBS also had a seniors program in the afternoon. We host regular friendship dinners to provide hospitality for some of Victoria's street people and make layouts for distribution to teen mothers in town. We provide considerable support concerning immigration for new or provincial Canadians. And from what I told you earlier, somehow it's working. With more than a dozen languages spoken among us, we make a conscious effort to welcome people of different nationalities. We just posted a welcome sign at our front entrance that uh, lists all the languages, almost all of them. We couldn't get them all up there. One of the reasons is one of the ones in Africa is not written. They speak it, but we, it's not written down. And there's a couple of uh, native languages we haven't yet got up there. Um, so 